Hey, Bobby Manning here. Welcome to a news edition of the Garden Report. Been a while since we've had some breaking Celtics news, but we do. Uh, as of Monday night, coming in late, the Mayish Kata signs a standard contract, long rumored and speculated uh, to be the case that he would move from that two way deal to a standard contract after what he showed in a couple stints with the Celtics, where he had to play through some injuries and some uh, depth issues prior to the addition of uh, Xavier Tillman. You had Luke Cornett injuries at different points in this year. Horford and Kristaps Porzingis managing uh, and dealing with a few minor injuries through the course of the season. So that gave Kata the chance to be active for 47 out of the 50 allowed games by a two-way player. I said when they signed this guy, this was a heist of a two-way addition. Uh, The pedigree he showed as a prospect with the Kings winning or finishing in the top three, I believe, of the G League MVP voting last year and showing out every summer league the way he did and just the immense physicality at seven foot uh, and, you know, 250 pounds or whatever he is exactly. Uh, It it all amounted to him being a great addition to the front court and he showed immediately the offensive rebounding, the inside scoring after a couple uh, tough misses early in his stints to begin the season, and a great preseason as well. He worked his way through a foot injury uh, that lingered from the summer, so he survived that uh, and managed to be with the team for the brunt of the regular season. Now, it looks like he'll be with the main Celtics for the G League Finals, which begin on Tuesday night while the Celtics are in Milwaukee playing the Bucks. Uh, So I believe he's going to be in Maine for that. It's a three-game series that's going to go out to Oklahoma City later this week. Uh, and then potentially back to Maine for a game three, winner take all uh, next Monday. So I don't know how much he's going to be with the Boston Celtics down the stretch here, but he is now playoff eligible. His cap hit will only be about 60, 70,000, depending on the day he actually signs this deal. Uh, and again, I don't have exact figures on whether this is just a rest of season contract or something potentially more long term here. That's probably going to come out in the next day or two uh, the Celtics when they signed Sam Hauser, Luke Cornett a couple years ago uh, to some two-way and main contracts extended out a couple years on some minimum uh, non-guaranteed salary that allowed them to stay uh, for several seasons with the Celtics I'm sure that's what they're going to do here as well I'm uh, just judging on what they've done in the past and uh, maybe the most interesting part of this because of course with Tillman and Cornett and Porzingis and Horford he's probably not going to play in the playoffs at all Uh, but you clear another two-way spot, and you can sign a guy uh, who won't be playoff eligible but can be a restricted free agent for the Celtics this summer that they could potentially keep around into next training camp. Uh, They did that with Matt Ryan in 2022 after they converted Hauser and Cornette and several of those guys to standard contracts late that year after some... uh, trades and roster openings and stuff they had to fill down the stretch of that season this 15th roster spot of course had been open pretty much all season Celtics kept it open by trading Delano Banton uh, while bringing in Jaden Springer at the trade deadline and uh, they took their time not many buyout prospects emerged but Cato always seen as a guy uh, that this team liked wanted to keep around and he made a no-brainer with his production this year and uh, just the way he stayed ready and contributed on a dime it was just an awesome two-way addition we said for so long why can't the Celtics find the Max Struces and the uh, Duncan Robinsons and all those guys that the Miami do, Heat do and they did it here uh, with the Mayor Shkata is he gonna pan out long term with this team it'll be interesting Cornette's a free agent uh, this summer Tillman's a free agent this summer so if he develops and shows well over the summer and you lose one of those guys he could be in that front court mix next year. Uh, and you're going to need front court guys to emerge given Al Horford's age and Kristaps Porzingis' health and availability uh, in any given year. So great signing here. Uh, I think the right choice for the 15th roster spot and some deep, deep playoff insurance if you need it here at a small tax hit. That 60000 70000 will be taxed, uh, but that's not going to amount to much here. 
uh, even for a big taxpayer like the Celtics. Uh, he earned 500000 on that two-way deal. That was automatic. Uh, so a decent little payday for Kata, uh overall this season uh, with the Celtics that uh, could grow into multiple minimum contracts here down the line. We'll wait on those details. And, of course, we are brought to you by our official daily fantasy sports partner over at Prize Picks. Go check out Prize Picks right now and use the promo code CLNS for a 100% deposit match up to $100. Just pick more or less, at least two guys, up to six. It's that easy. Any given night, maybe if Kate is one of the only guys available down the stretch here, you can go more or less on him. I'd imagine that's what's going to happen on Sunday. But uh, for Tuesday's game, only Chris Stapps and Horford are questionable. So could be big nights for Cornette, Tillman, Kate and Brown. Certainly going to be on the board uh, Wednesday, Tuesday night as well. So uh, check it out. Fun app. Great to navigate and see all the different stat lines that they're predicting for guys. And again, just pick more or less on two and you're good to go. Get a 100% deposit match up to $100 when you use uh, the code CLNS. I'm by man. This has been a news edition of the Garden Report. Celtics sign the Mayish Kata to a standard contract. Uh, more details to come. Stay tuned here. CLNS Media Celtics All Access for more reaction and uh, analysis of this move.